today. Have you ever wondered if it's possible to contract a flesh eating bacteria at a Texas beach? Reporter Brandon Jones verifies what you should know. The summer season is knocking on your door. Chances are the idea of a great beach vacation is something you're trying to squeeze in your budget. You don't have to go far though. You can head on down to the Gulf Coast. But there's a secret. This seagull shaped thing, otherwise known as Vibrio vonificus, lurks in the Texas beaches. You and your family may take a dip in. And trust me, it's no friend to humans. It's a form of flesh eating bacteria. To get to the bottom of this, our search to know more starts with the 214 mile trip to Galveston. We went to go see infectious disease clinic director, Dr. Alfred Scott Lee with the University of Texas Medical Branch at Galveston. And we interviewed him with questions about Vibrio vonificus. Let's break it down for us, fact versus fiction when it comes to this. Probably the biggest myth that I hear is people worry about this going onto the beach. Wait, did we just hear that right? Probably the biggest myth that I hear is people worry about this going onto the beach. Dr. Lee says the bacteria occurs most often in warm, muddy water, not bodies of water like the Gulf of Mexico. The Vibrio family seems to have an attraction to the mucky bottom of warm, semi-salty standing water like the coastal bays and mouths of rivers. So question one, we wanted to know if you swallow some of this brackish water or if it gets in your eyes, could Vibrio vonificus live in your body? Dr. Lee says that's false. The mucosal membranes will take care of you. It has to get past the barriers of the body. Question two, what about using hand sanitizer to kill it? There's no data, scientific or otherwise, that suggests that uh, Alcohol-based hand wash will keep this away. Dr. Lee says research right now points to flesh wounds of any size as the main culprit of getting Vibrio vonificus while out in the water. Once it enters your body, Dr. Lee says the trouble begins. So think about it this way, Vibrio vonificus, it starts with the battle between your white and red blood cells. Dr. Lee says the bacteria actually breaks its way into a layer of flesh between the skin and the muscles. And after a period of about two to five days, the bacteria can spread like wildfire. But get this, the odds of actually getting it are one in a million here in Texas. 10% of people will wind up with an amputation probably 80% will lose some, some amount of tissue from their legs or their extremities, and there's a 60% mortality rate. Over the last 15 years, we have seen a gradual increase in Vibrio vonificus in Texas. Take a look at this. In 2001, 14 cases were reported. 2015, 35 cases were reported. Dr. Lee says most of the cases are in Galveston and Harris counties. So what's causing this increase? Well, Dr. Lee says people recognize the disease more and report it, which is required by state law. Healthcare providers, hospitals, laboratories, schools have to fill out this form for patients who are suspected of having Vibrio within one day to the Health and Human Services Department. Symptoms such as high fever, sepsis, chills are common. We learned this form of bacteria doesn't discriminate. We found that one in a million person in Buda. Adrian Ruiz is doing what he loves to do, barbecue. You're gonna season it real good because it's going to go down real good tomorrow. Father's Day weekend to Port Aransas changed Ruiz's life. He developed this rash on his leg. Turns out doctors diagnosed him with Vibrio vonificus. The germ caused a four-month ordeal to the Ruiz family. Adrian's leg swelled twice its normal size with blisters the size of grapes. When I had the, the rash, it, it was like being set on fire where this rash was around my leg. Ruiz immediately thought he was going to lose his leg, but doctors were able to save it. Now this is what you see when you look at his leg. The staples are out and the skin graft is on. It's 85% healed, but his leg still swells a little. This is the second time he's had a medical condition with his legs. Through it all, he finds time for a little humor. Man, that's... I need to take care of my legs, I guess, a little bit. <laughs> I told him he's like a cat with nine lives and he's uh, using them up. Adrian does not want that to happen because he plans on going fishing again. So to sum this all up, cases of Vibrio vonificus are extremely rare. And that has been verified.